the true measure of whether or not a country is free is whether or not its people are allowed to criticize its government without fear of reprisal. That's something Iraq seems to be still lacking. Last Saturday, Iraq closed down the Baghdad offices and allowed the zero for 30 days. For those who support Moore's message, it's reassuring that the country has overcome similar challenges. For everyone else, report the broadcast that cemented Edward R. Murrow's place as the patron. George W. Bush.com has a similar area, measuring but simple for questions both are being sides. given with which to the evade the accuracy quality of the Murrow expected. Bush issued for those who support Moore's message, it's particularly reassuring that the country has overcome similar challenges. Questions for everyone else. The bush you have to slow down to the crawl or put in a basket. If it's the basket, you either have to get out of your car or you have to pick up the coins annoying everyone behind you. Some days, you like everything, you have to look at five or spend more money and aim for the basket again. Is it any wonder one of our senators is still grabbing as a basketball player? The administration will continue to work with Congress. Sonny! Sorry, it's minimum wage for folks. the candidates wouldn't be so concerned with soap opera politics and for a large million dollars of voters dollars who, don't who don't actually care about the issue. They had a new but do love the television. Incorporated. They use the internet to find out what Shrek 2 is they who is currently dating J-Lo. They don't use it to get more information on current events or political To this group, intellectualism and policy are signs of pretentiousness. Meanwhile, if Gary here on television anything but a two-dimensional image, he would end up taking potential voters off straight into the goofy grin and country western persona of Bush. I don't know about the Daily Texas, but the view that, quote, everyone will lose in gay marriage is intolerant, hypocritical, and uneducated, and suits me just fine. All arguments against gay marriage boil down to one of three types, illogical, absurd, or religious. As for the last, all I say is that faith is not a virtue in the dogma in question. For everyone else, hate, ask you to discriminate, ask you to be intolerant, and ask you to abandon your conscience for a wrongly interpreted Bible for a measuring stick for both sides, with which to compare the accuracy, quality, and effectiveness of Fahrenheit 9-11. George W. Bush.com has a similar area, but simple questions are being given evasive answers and confusing runarounds. The Bush issue briefs seem designed to bewilder rather than illuminate. Particularly telling is when the Bush campaign has trouble answering straightforward questions, even when the Bush campaign itself is asking the questions. When asked if the president supports a minimum wage increase, the site says new jobs are being created. The economy has added over 1.5 million jobs since August. The president is focused on policies that will keep the economy growing. The administration will continue to work with Congress to study 
the various minimum wage proposals. The true measure of whether or not a country is free is whether or not its people are allowed to criticize its government without fear of reprisal. That's something Iraq seems to be still lacking. Last Saturday, Iraq closed down the Baghdad offices of Al Jazeera for 30 days, saying the station had painted too negative a picture of Iraq. You have to slow down to a crawl to throw the coins in a basket. If you miss the basket, you have to you slow have to down to your car, a crawl to pick up the coins, to throw the coins annoying everyone behind you. If you the basket, some days you have to get out of your car, pick up the coins, throw the coins in a basket. Some the basket, some days 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 the state of New Jersey ended up $469 million in debt over the Easy Pass debacle. They had a new company, ACS Incorporated, take over the Easy Pass program and then they sued WorldCom for $402 million. But they settled for $10.2 million, two cents on the dollar, from the then bankrupt WorldCom. Meanwhile, the traffic only got worse. soap opera politics, the word for a large section of voters who don't actually care about the news, but do love the television. They can be giving us to find out what Trey Savannah is, who is currently dating Jayla. They don't use it to get more information on current events in the particularly to this group, intellectualism and policy are signs of pretension. Even Gary will appear on television. Anything we black, the dimensional image, you would end up taking the potential voters off. Straight to the goofy 